What's up, Guns Out Nation? Welcome to Go News. In this episode, we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people probably don't readily couple with being a responsible gun owner, and that is situational awareness training. Um, situational awareness training is one of those things that you don't really hear a whole lot about, right? There's not a lot of people out there offering that specific training. Some I know some firearms trainers, they offer specific, you know, add-on classes to their firearms instruction for situational awareness. But we really, I think most people don't give enough credit to how much situ situational awareness coupled with being a responsible gun owner, how it, how it's so complimentary for not only being a responsible gun owner, but to like take care of you and your family, your loved ones, and you know, your life. Um, so with that being said, uh, in year one of Guns Out, we had the privilege of visiting the West Orlando Firearms Training Center, better known as WAFT. And we didn't know what to expect. We went to this facility and we just knew that we were going to be taking training. We thought it was related directly to firearms. But little did we know when we got there, we were going to get a little bit more than we expected by way of this situational awareness training I speak of. What is WAFT? WAFT is a world-class education center for real-life scenario safety and instruction. Scenario safety teaches everyone the skills necessary to handle real-life encounters. Ultimately, WAFT empowers you to deal with the potentially harmful everyday situations that can happen. Everyday situations being the key word. And then when you look at some of the features of WAFT, there is scenario safety, Flashlight training, we're going to get to that one. I know your, your, your question mark probably popped right over your head when I said flashlight training. Vehicle solutions, firearms intro, personal defense, and even CCW permitting. So without further ado, guys, today joining me is the founder, owner, operator, CEO of WAFT himself, Mr. Philip Topino. Philip, welcome to Go News. Thank you much. Thank you much. Happy to be here. Man, it's been a while, Philip. I mean, we haven't seen each other since uh, USCCA Expo in Wisconsin last year, and we haven't been out to WAFT since. Uh, it's been about two, two, two and a half years now. Yeah, you guys were doing your thing, and I walked up, and uh, we're living by doggy years, so we're uh, doing great things, and uh, this collaboration is something that's long overdue. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, Philip. I mean, you know, we've been talking about coming back out to WAF because, uh, you know, I want another crack at this scenario training that, you know, you splashed us into that day unexpectedly. Um, you know, and it's interesting, we're going to actually play a clip before you know later in the episode to to kind of show give you an example of what we're talking about here but but philip in your words explain to our viewers you know what is waft beyond what i just said and why do they need to look into the facility and its offerings yeah absolutely um real life scenario safety and instruction i get that question a lot is what is it and first and foremost it's something that's a custom learning experience. And it's something that, uh, how does it work? So we basically learn you and then we show you safety concepts and then we allow you to apply those safety concepts at your skill set. So we first create, we first begin by creating a safe environment. This is critical that everyone is absolutely safe all the time. Uh, next, we work on education and awareness about real life scenarios. We teach you both what to do, what you can do, and how to do it should these situations occur. Then the real magic happens. First, we set the stage, and then we put you in the scenario. So this gives you real experience for real situations resulting in transformative outcomes and very, very real results. Each scenario is customized to each individual, creating a real-time dynamic tailored for each and every person. Uh, no one else is doing this, as you know, and nothing else is like it. So WAFT is a 20-acre private facility outside of Orlando, Florida, and uh, it's something that I couldn't find around the country, so I made my own. No, that seems to be, you know, contagious these days. People can't find something and they just try to pop one up themselves. When was WAFT established? 2014 is the official when we, we dove into it, we've been doing this now for 13 years and I've been, I've been moving from location to location until we finally found something that we could make our own and built our own facility. So similar in North Carolina, they talk about owning your view. 
So we can customize an experience. So as opposed to going to some open range or to a lot of places that other firearms instructors go and they rent places, they don't, they don't control the environment. So we immerse you in that uh, and we're full service. So let's talk about, let's talk a little bit about that immersion and let's talk about, I guess, the expansive nature of situational awareness, because people probably maybe put that in a box and they don't think about all of the times that situational awareness should be properly deployed. Um, yeah, let's, let's start by unpacking that as far as, you know, what are, what are some of the situational awareness fundamentals that you teach? I know we learned about the OODA loop while we were there. Um, I know that we always talk about when you when you get into a a scenario that threatens your life or that is a, a very unexpected scenario, you always fall back to your lowest level of training. So, so talk me through some of these situational awareness scenarios and what WAFT can provide you, how it can equip you to be more situationally aware. Well, first, we start off with what's more likely to happen, which is nothing. And we focus on pre-fight indicators. So pre-fight indicators are something that something looks unusual or could be potentially dangerous. And we teach you how to scan your world for things that are unusual. And when you see something unusual, give it more attention. And through scenario training done properly, which is again, what we like to call real life scenario safety and instruction, we teach you how to see these little pre-fight indicators and then give it more attention. And then if potentially, if needed, to react more critically while under stress. So to, to simply apply safety concepts and we, we want to role play uh, what's more likely to happen, which is nothing, and then learn how to see these situations come up and avoid them altogether. That's important too. Um, I think that, and that, <laughs> that could probably segue us right into our clip from when we were at Waft. And, and you know, when, when he says they start you off with what could probably happen, which would be nothing, and then, you know, ramp you up into a, maybe potentially the worst case scenario in that particular uh, event, they're not lying because, you know, I was going through the scenarios and yeah, first time I walked into a room, you know, everything's copacetic, everything's normal. I, you know, and I'm actually on the lookout. I'm looking for things and there's nothing there. Nothing seems to be out of place. And, you know, after a couple of iterations that slowly starts to change little minor adjustments and then it hits the fan guys. As a matter of fact, we're going to just toss to this clip real quick so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Check this out. Get real. Wow. I had to get real. Well, didn't expect that. Who is that? It was you? Woo. Come on, man. <laughs> you wouldn't let up, man. Come on. So, so here, the A plus, the A plus answer for you. If someone's by your car, yeah. Set the car alarm off and just leave. Yeah. Because, low, because, low key, I want a confrontation. Because, because right here, okay, I had, I had, I had this on me. And depending on what you do, a lot of times people, I'm like, I'm locked out of my car. Like, no, this is my car. I'm like, well, give me the keys then. Yeah, yeah. And it changes. So this is more something for you, right? If you're in a parking lot, someone comes up and they look like they're really trying to get to your car, set the car alarm off and leave. 
Right. Okay. All right. So you, do you see what I mean? So imagine I'm going through the scenarios and it goes from very docile to you saw that escalated as quickly as escalation could possibly happen. And I don't even know if, if what I did was right or if it was wrong, but I know I survived. I know that much. And, you know, and that's barring it was a training scenario. You know, if the person would have had some type of a weapon or really, really malicious intent, it might have not worked out as 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 much as it did then. So that's why, like, really being on alert from the moment you enter a scenario of exiting your home is very important. So, yeah, talk us through a little bit that a little bit of how you prepare people for stuff like that, Philip. So again, uh, if you're expecting something to happen, a lot of times that's where people start their training. You go to a gym, you go to an MMA, you go to a boxing match and you walk in expecting something to happen. Proper scenario training though, is to teach you what's more likely to happen is nothing and simply to react to what happens. But if you can see it coming, so if you don't have the proper stage, if you don't have the proper equipment, the proper training station to insert you, Remember what we talked about, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. And you were watching Sir Michael run before you and you're thinking, oh, okay, based on what this happened, this is what's going to happen. And based on this, and you know, you're learning from watching him, but we wanted to give you something custom to you. And so you learn by watching people that you know, or that you're familiar with or family and your retention goes up high, but then proper scenario training is actually letting you apply the same concepts in a different way than what you just saw. And it, it teaches you it's, it's, it's uh, the retentions through the roof. And we found that there is a, a real life changing experience that you either do it or you don't. And uh, I, if I remember correctly, you did very well. <laughs> yeah. As well as to be expected. Like I said, I'll let you, you guys, you let us know in the comments how well you think I did by thwarting off my attacker in that scenario. Um, the jury's still out on that one. Uh, it's hard to watch one clip and in collectively understand the full learning half day that you guys got with the presentation and how you can be a hard target and everything that comes with a full class that we have. So it's very challenging to just watch one clip, but it's something that we worked up to, which allowed you to apply a lot of things that we talked about and then just see where you are in that moment as far as a, 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 your skill. And we call it a skill at arms because our first tool is to think critically while under stress. And then depending on what tools you're allowed to carry, so on a daily basis, for example, a potential things that we can do. Yeah, look at that. Now that, that's gonna segue us into the flashlight training, but go ahead, continue, Phil. Remember what you just saw, guys. <clears throat> yeah, no, something that uh, we talk about force multipliers and we talk about tools. And our first tool is to learn how to think critically while under stress, our mindset training. And, and that's just a, what I wanted when I traveled the country was a place that I could come and learn safety concepts with my family. And I couldn't find a place that, was, that, that wasn't more of an alpha male, uh, non-kid friendly uh, place that, hey, listen, if the bathrooms aren't clean, my wife's not, uh, she's not coming back. I can, I can, she'll come to something once, but after I spend that, that that's gone. So I wanted to make something nicer that when your time is very valuable and you want to guarantee experience, that's why you invest a little bit more with your precious time so that, that, that you go to a nicer facility that has you know, the, the, the proper staff student to instructor ratio. They have the right equipment that's safer and they have, you're comfortable because you learn more when you're comfortable. Then you can stress test it once you got it, but you need to learn it being comfortable. So that's something, again, that I, just, I couldn't find and it's hard for me to leave my family. I want to be able to take them with me when I go places and we have the best family vacation possible. You know, listen, guys, so much to unpack here. Like, first off, when he says comfortable, the experience is absolutely comfortable. This place is top notch. One of the cleanest facilities I've ever been to. Creature comforts galore. Um, fun for the kids, fun for adults. Everybody's going to learn. That's hands down, bar none. I stamp that 1000% hands down. Um, as far as the curriculum goes, as he said, it's custom tailored. They're trying to make certain that you leave with the 
knowledge that suits your everyday life and the scenarios that you're going to run through. Now, let's talk about when he fl when he flashed that flashlight into the camera, you saw that you couldn't see him. You couldn't see anything behind him. You couldn't see anything behind that big flash of light. So that's where we're going to go into the flashlight training, which was an intricate part of what we were doing in that low light scenario, walking to the car through the through the garage scenario. Um, talk to us about the flashlight, the importance of it, because a lot of people like they'll be skeptical about what, what do you mean a flashlight? What if I'm what if it's broad daylight? Like, what is a flashlight going to do for me? Well, that's a great question. What can a little flashlight do? With the proper instruction, it can do more than you could ever imagine. And many people ask us, what's up with the flashlight? You know, why does everyone at WAFT always go on about a flashlight? Well, the, the WAFT flashlight, what's cool about it is that, number one, it's small, it's inconspicuous, it's multi-purpose, and with the proper training, it can save your life. We do that by interrupting the way people think a predator thinks by doing something they're not expecting. And by using a flashlight to magnify and project our voice, that's what makes you know this, the strangers want to stay away, is that we have a tool. If we have one tool, we might have another tool. There's a lot of people that have been doing flashlight training for years, and, and it's something that we've been doing, uh, kind of the white label, if you will, where a lot of people come to us and they train with us and all of a sudden the light bulb goes off and then six months later they write an article about it but they forget to reference us so it's one of those things where we want to start coming out now and we're going to start uh looking to scale what we do and kind of take something that uh it used to be by referral only and that's why we're doing more things by reaching out to guys like you with fantastic networks and looking to educate more people about something that uh, is an everyday everyday tool for everyone. Right. No, no, I totally, totally get it. Um, you know, and, and that was the thing. It was like learning that something as simple as a flashlight can change the outcome of a potentially deadly scenario, even in broad daylight, because I really want you guys to think about this and understand this. When he flashed the light into the camera, you couldn't see what was behind the flashlight. That's that's the important. The two most important factors to me with the flashlight training was that the attacker cannot see what's beyond the flashlight. Obviously, you need the right flashlight. Like every flashlight may not do that, but if you have the right pocket flashlight, it'll do that. Like you can't see behind the flashlight. So then, and but you can see everything in front of you. So the so now the advantage is in your hands. You see everything that that attacker has going on in his hands, in his pockets, his posture, his size, the distance between you two, all of those things. Whereas he's he or she is potentially blinded at that point. So so that really changes the dynamic of the entire interaction. Obviously, the further the distance is between you two, it's going to multiply that even more and more. Because, I mean, if there's a great distance between you, and they, they can't see what's going on. They don't know if you already have a gun pointed at them. Right. So a, a smart attacker would be like, all right, you know what? Wrong guy, wrong girl. I'm out of here. OK. And, and so, Philip, going beyond the low light training, going beyond the situational awareness training, you know, we did something while we were there where we were literally like in a cafe. We were all we had all the simunition gear on and we all had simunition pistols. And like as if everybody was a concealed carry holder, which in most cases, a lot of people are you you're sitting in Starbucks and you don't know who who among you has a concealed carry permit. Um, and, and is actually a carrying citizen. So in this particular case, all of us were, but nobody knew who was who in the zoo, who would be the attacker, who would be the bystander. And then several iterations of scenarios just played out. And it was left up to us to handle it the way that we would instinctually handle it. And then you guys come in and then we do lessons learned. Tell me about the value of that and, and, and what your students walk away from with that. So the first thing is scenario training is not done properly unless it's done with the legality of the consequences before, during, and after a potential altercation. And in the scenario you're talking about, we have a themed coffee shop that we immerse you in. And that coffee shop is uh, uh, built to, again, uh, start a movie set and insert you in that movie. And then we, we hit play and how scenarios play out in there is something that during the debrief is number one, what's more likely to happen? Nothing. And number two is that when these scenarios play out, how good of a witness can you be? Just because you're carrying concealed every day, we want to focus and we want to reward you 
for not getting engaged and learning when you can leave, which is really important with scenario training done properly when you go into a building, where are the exits, right? How good of a witness can you be? And then by immersing you in there, it really helps to back into reverse engineer when potentially bad things happen, what could you have done to handle it better? And through attentive repetition, that's really what WAFT is all about is helping anyone at any skill set learn and apply safety concepts. And so uh, how, how our days go is that typically before lunch, you're at one station learning a concept. And then after lunch, you might be applying that concept at another station in a different way. So the more time you give us, the better we make you. And that's something that our typical classes are two days. Uh, what you guys came in was a fast and furious one day. <laughs> fast and, and furious. <laughs> fast and furious. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's it's something that um, I thought that surely someone was doing something like this around the country. I thought that surely someone at a higher scale um, was similar to what we're providing. And when you start looking at a business metric, it's very challenging to have the student instructor ratio. It's very challenging to have all this infrastructure uh, without volume. And when you have volume, then you you know you have a tendency to lose quality. So it's it's really that fine line between providing the value, educating someone on the value, because surely there's scenario training around the country, but not a three to one in ratio, and not with maybe with airsoft. While airsoft is great, it's not UTM. And, 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 and that can be potentially training scars when you train with something or working up to training with something that doesn't cycle like a real firearm. And so these are, these are the things that we, we, you know, we spare no expense. And it's something that, again, when your time is more valuable than anything you would spend training, that's why we're here. No, oh, and, and you guys implement that flawlessly. Um, and you know, the, the, you guys have a full, fully functional range for both rifle and pistol, correct? Correct. We are we are full service. Um, it's something that uh, when you come to us, depending on how many days you give us, depends on what you go through. And uh, I really appreciate people that a lot of times I ask them, hey, listen, if you've had training someplace else, come to us and let me design for you based on your registration form, what you've done before and, and let us customize that experience for you. Um, and that's something that's not done anywhere else. A lot of times when you go to take a class, you're going to be grouped with 12 people in the class and one to two instructors. And you might have someone that's brand spanking new and you might have someone who's got a lot of experience. So you've got someone who's drinking from a fire hose and you've got someone who's falling asleep. And so at WAFT, that's the whole purpose is that we also throttle to you real time while you're in our, while you're here at WAFT. So you could be um, in a class that someone thinks they're a five, but they're really a two, right? We've all been there. Yeah, it's probably and, a guy. It's probably a guy too. <laughs> right, probably a guy or two. And so we're able to break you off into further groups and we're able to like Bill Belichick come in at halftime and say, hey, listen, this is over here. We want to move this and make adjustments and shift so that when you're here, we also cater to you uh, based on your skill set. So. That's something that a lot of families want to train together. And when that's the case, uh, everyone drops to the lowest level of the, the beginner and they run at that speed. Or if they want, they can divide and conquer. So we have dad over on the handgun range running a higher level where mom might be learning the fundamentals and introduction to firearm safety and how to malfunctions. And then the kids are learning more how to push danger away over in the flashlight station and learning how to how to basically learn to use their voice and project their voice. So it really is a, a full spectrum safety experience. Uh, and no matter what you've done, no matter what you like to do, you've never done anything like this. And so we we recommend that everyone at least come try it once. Yep. And, and so does Guns Out. Guns Out recommends the same thing because until we went there, we could not really grasp the importance of this level of training, this type of training, the the simulation of it all, because, you know, something was said to me while I was there that stuck with me from that day. And that was, do you want the first time you encounter a scenario like this to be the first time you encounter a scenario like this? 
And when you stop to think about that, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, guys. Like the first time, if, if anybody, if anybody could have their own, you know, preference. Yes, I would love to be robbed 10 times practice. Let's practice rob me 10 times <laughs> before I get robbed the for one time for real. Because if I practice 10 times, then I probably know how to avoid it completely. So that's that's what Waft is really offering you. 360 degree defense training. The firearm is a tool. It's honestly always should be the last option. So putting as many layers between you and deploying your firearm should be something that you put at, as, as a foremost priority. And Waft does a great job of giving you several different options. I mean, there's even Bastinelli Blades operates. Does Bastinelli still, still operate out of Waft? Yes, they do. And again, we we're talking about tools. You know, that's another fantastic tool that we're not going to we're not going to make a, a female or a younger person or an older person as strong as us. But we can make we can make bad predators that are trying to abduct us. We can make them let us go by other tools. And the flashlight is something that we hyper focus on because that's what's more likely to happen. Keeping distance is our friend. And then when distance breaks down, learning how to strike and get distance. And that's what we do through attentive repetition. And the flashlights on the market, I found, um, they were programmed more for the police and the military. So there are really two basic elements to consider when you have a flashlight. Number one is the, the programming of it. So is it designed for ease, the, make it easy to use, okay? And we have a self-defense uh, curriculum that, you know, as of now, it's exclusive to WAFT, um, but we want to look and start to share that more. And, you know, the, the question that you referenced earlier and that Sir Michael's like, eh, I'm not too sold on the flashlight, Philip. I'm not, I'm not sold on that yet. <laughs> Sir Michael right? not sold on anything. <laughs> right? It's, it's the mindset mm -hmm. uh, that the flashlight helps you to connect. Right. So remember, it's just a tool, but the value of the tool, the performance of the tool is only as good as the person using it. Right. So the real benefit lies not in the flashlight itself, but in mm -hmm. the instruction from Waft and how to use it. Yeah. How a flashlight can empower you, how a flashlight can be used in ways most people would never imagine. Mm -hmm. This is the real value, the usefulness, mm -hmm. the practicality, and the advantage of a real simple flashlight that is fully realized. All right, guys, listen, you know, WAFT is 360 degree defense training. You, you just I can't stress enough that there's so much you can learn by visiting this facility. Go to WAFT.com. Check out all of their offerings. Check out the, the array of training curriculums that they have. Um, if you decide to partake in any of the classes, uh, use code GUNSOUT10 to save 10%. Philip, thank you for uh, giving that to our, our viewers and our subscribers and supporters. I, I really hope that they take advantage of that. Um, guys, I promise you, you won't regret visiting WAFT. It's in Orlando. So, you know, look, plan a trip to Disneyland and then go to Tactical Disneyland. And that's, that. look, I, I know I probably wasn't supposed to say that, but I said it because it's my show, so I'm going to say it. But go to Tactical Disneyland and have a good time. Uh, walk away with some real, real knowledge real real world experience that's what you know it, that's worth paying for to to know what it feels like to be put in a compromised situation and seeing what your natural reaction is and then getting guidance on how to dial that natural reaction into something that is favorable to you and whoever it is that you're trying to protect philip thank you for coming on gold news and talking to me about this it won't be the last time and obviously guns out is going to make their way back out to off very soon Thank you so much. If you are not a gun owner, we make it work for you. If you are a gun owner, we make it work for you. So that's the that's the blessing that waft where our families train. That's what we want to focus on. There you go. Where the families train. There you go, guys. All you need to know, go to waft.com. Use go use code gunsout10. And until next time, let's go. <laughs>